Hello everyone. In this video, we will see an exercise on our tricks. This exercise is also dependent on our previous exercise that was related with join multiple tools. So how we have to input the different types of tables or different types of cards. We can use it with the help of join multiple. So we can combine it. So now we have to see in this particular exercise that how to use the join by specific field function by using this particular join multiple field in case of output. So there is one function which is named as join multiple join specific fields. So this function is available under the join multiple tool so that we have to see. So with this we have to make use our previous exercise. We'll go over here. I'll drag this particular tool case so that all it will be combined and press Control C. Go to this new workflow number four. And I'll press Control V. So we have taken this input data tool. So input data tool, three input data tools are there, number one, number two, and number three. So as we can see in this particular new workflow canvas, these are nothing but the input data tool which is available over here. Number one, number two, and number three. So we'll go to this, click on this, and we will select go to this configuration pane in the table or query, click on this. So we have to select the range. So I'll select the range as R underscore one. I'll click on OK. I'll go to this I guess it is not selected. I again select it for the input data. Now we have gone to the input data number 2, input data tool number 2, and we have to select another range. First we have selected our own, now we select R2. Just click on OK. And we have to follow the same procedure for number 3 one. So I will go over here. Go to the configuration pane, click on table or query. So, over here we can see that in the input data to 1, 2, and 3, R1, R2, and R3 is being loaded respectively. Now, I'll just click on run so that the result workflow will be available over here. Three fields are available in the first input data, two fields are available in the second, and uh, another two fields are available in the third. So, two fields are available. Now, I'll uh, go over here in the join multiple tool tab. Select this particular option as join by specific fields. So, I will show you the common records over here. So, common records over here is nothing but this particular 5 in the record number, another case is record number 5 and record number 5. So, you can show the common record by using this join by specific field. So, select over here record number. So, it will directly select this record number. Now I'll just click on run. After this, we have selected the record number for input one, input two, and input three. Click on the output answer of join multiple. Now it is going to highlight the common data. So in record number, 
it is going to highlight input to record number 5 so input 3 record number 5 so these are highlighted now click on this particular option as only output record that join all the join from all inputs so it is going to highlight the common now click on run Now over here, we will just click on this output anchor so that the common data is here. Yes, the common data which is there in the input 1, input 2 and input 3. 3 ranges we have selected. R underscore 1, R underscore 2 or R underscore 3. So 5, 5 and 5. So the common record has been highlighted. So I hope you have understood this particular video in which we have taken the function as joined by Thanks for watching and have a nice day.